to that ties into the core of who you are. And this idea that you can be a sales person as a brand with your style and your whatever, and then take that to different companies is a very new idea. I think it's been around in like realty and car sales and a few other things for a while. It kind of harkens back to the old Rolodex. But the idea that you are not the company that you work for is new to tech. Yeah, but so here's where I think that the trouble is. So a lot of the work that I do and what I'm super passionate about and I'm doing a lot more work on is personal branding. And, you know, I'm a big believer that I think that the personal brands of the sort of leadership of a company or employees of a company are one of the most critical parts of B2B marketing these days. I think Drift is a phenomenal example. And so I am working with a number of leaders and a couple of salespeople while helping them figure out their personal brands. I think what is particularly hard for salespeople is that oftentimes you're selling a product to an audience that is not you and is nothing like you. And you don't really have that much like, you know, innate interest in or expertise in outside of your role at this particular company. And so I think there's a lot of salespeople that really struggle with figuring out how do I define my personal brand in a way that is going to resonate with the audience that I am targeting as a salesperson, but that isn't going to seem false or fake. Or to Ashley's point, if I leave this company and now sell a completely different product, I'm not going to have to start from square one. And so figuring out this sort of intersection between the product that you sell and the audience that you sell it to and your 